and find your pelvis and your legs. You might even touch with your hands to your, to your pelvis and your legs and your feet for a moment, just to connect to that lower part of your body, rooting into the earth. Feeling a balance in your pelvis. If you notice that your pelvis can shift backwards and forwards when you arch and round your spine, see if you can find that very middle point, that place where the bowl is completely balanced. If you could hold a nice big bowl of fruit in this pelvis. And breathe into that space of neutrality and balance when you arrive there, as you arrive there, as we continue and continue and continue to arrive there, reconnecting to balance. And the beautiful thing about balance, one of the beautiful things is that the energy can move smoothly and freely. So allow from that centered pelvis, allow the sensation of energy rising through your spine. And you may achieve this with a little bit of awareness and breath. It may not come immediately, may not come at all. Be kind to yourself as you arrive in this place of centered pelvis, legs, feet, and energy rising through the spine from the base, through the belly, through the base of the ribs, through the heart, into the throat, around the brow, and shooting out the crown of the head. Touching into our energy centers, our chakras. Taking a nice soothing breath through your system. And as you arrive here, perhaps take a moment to form an intention for your practice today. Something that will guide you here on your mat and that will take you out into your week in a way that you wish to be. It may be a little more of a rising of energy or maybe a little more of a releasing and a relaxing. So different for all of us at different times. Let's reach the arms out wide and high. Interlace the fingers and draw the palms skyward, dropping those shoulders, opening the arm bones, upward, upward, upward as you feel that balanced pelvis, take a big breath in here, just really opening the side lines of your body, scooching in on an exhale, the belly, the base of the ribs. One more opening, inhale, expanding, rising. And exhale, draw the hands down in a wide arc around you. Gaze down to the ground. Inhale, reach wide and high, interlace once again. Draw the palms skyward, drop the shoulders. Exhale, big wide arc around you and down, looking down. Two more rounds. Inhale, rising, reaching, ex uh, reaching the palms extended to the sky, shoulders drop, maybe a gaze up. Exhale, swing wide around you, down. Last one, inhale, reach wide high, interlace, drop home skyward, drop shoulders down. Big lengthening breath to the side bodies. And let's take the left hand down and reach the right arm over to the left and, and really come into a big stretch for the right side. And let your eyes look up and down. And go ahead and take a big wide circle with that right arm all the way around you. Let your eyes follow. and circle that arm in both directions. And let this invite a little more breath into the body. And of course, a nice warm up for the eyes and the neck. And then just take one extra reach across, maybe walk it even a little further, open that whole right side, big breath in and out. And rise it on up and take to the other side, right hand comes down, left arm reaches toward the right, 
And just take a moment to land into the stretch for the left side. Fingertips down through outer hip waist. And then come into that big wide circle with the arm, big windmill circle around your body. Let your eyes follow. <sighs> Let this refresh and reinvigorate. Circle in both directions. <sighs> Let this bring more prana, more air, more energy into the body. And let's land it a little extra stretch for that left side, maybe walking it out a little further. Big breath in and out. Rise back up. And let's transition to a child pose. Feet together, knees wide, arms extend long on the mat, and just let your forehead drop to or toward the floor. <sighs> Open your mouth, take out a sigh out the mouth. Drop the heart down toward the earth. Spread wide the palms. Draw the shoulder blades down and down the back, opening the back body. Taking a nice deep grounding breath into the pelvis. And just tapping into those energy centers along the spine, opening things up, reinvigorating. Finding your way to all fours, take a couple cats and cows. Inhale, lifting chin, chest, eyes, tail. Exhale, rounding out. We'll take three rounds like this in and out. Check in with your shoulders. On the inhale, let them drop down and away from your ears. Allow your gaze to look up, your arch to happen through the whole spine. Last breath in and out. Come to neutral and press back to child pose. And we're just gonna flow with it. Come to all fours. Inhale, arching back. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, neutral. And this time, press back to down dog. Just one breath. We're gonna flow with it. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. Squeeze that belly in. Inhale, neutral. And exhale, press back to child pose. Just one breath. Inhale, come to all fours, arch and arch the back. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, come to neutral, curl the toes under. Press back down, we're facing dog, hips high, head drops. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round it out, squeeze the belly in. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, back, child pose. And let's walk the hands back, 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 and find your way to the back of your mat in a squat, just a quick one. Heels may or may not come to the ground. Hug around your body. Chuck your chin down into your chest. And then hands come to the earth and lift your hips up to the sky. Uttanasana, straightening the legs. They might be bent right now, a little bit bent, so that's okay. Walk yourself out to downward facing dog. And just take three breaths here. You might pedal it out. You might shift your weight side to side, opening up the sidelines of your body. Just see what your body wishes to do. Let your breath really flow. Find the weight in each hand and in each foot. Let's turn the toes to the left and the heels to the right. And open up that left side. Go ahead, turn the toes to the right and the heels to the left and open up the right side. Come on back to center. Knees down, arch it out and round it out one more time. Inhale, exhale. Come to neutral, press back to child pose. Walk your hands back to the back of the mat, come into a squat. Hug on in, round it out. Hands down, straighten legs, hips rise to the sky. Walk yourself out, downward facing dog. Go ahead and launch your right leg on up to the sky and circle out that right ankle and circle it in both directions. Just loosening up the ankle joint and the joints of the foot, all those bones. 
And then lift your right leg higher, higher, higher. Stack your right hip over left. Bend knee and roll the hip open. Press your right foot toward your left shoulder. And really open up the front of the hip, the front of the belly. Taking some big breaths into that belly. Straightening out your right leg, inhale. Exhale, round and squeeze in knee to nose and step your right foot forward. If you have blocks, find them now and bring them to either side of your mat, right up at the top. And let's come down onto the left knee. Left hand stays down. Right hand comes to sacrum at the base and just spin toward your inner right thigh. Taking a twist, nice early twist. Launching your right arm high to the sky when you feel ready. And if it feels good for you, curl the back toes under and lift the back knee off the ground, spinning. Drawing your knees in toward midline. Spin your heart up to the sky. Lean back a little bit. Open this up. One more breath. And exhale, release. Hands come to either side of that front foot. Straighten both legs and bow in. Pyramid pose. Let your head shake out. Let your spine get long. You can use your blocks under your hands if you like. You can also lift the five toes of that front foot if that feels good. And squeeze your belly in on each exhale. Pull your hips back, bow your head deeper. Last one, open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Ha, lion's breath. Walk your hands forward, let's fly into our standing split. Left leg close to the sky, head bows heavy. Three breaths, strong back leg, strong anchor into the earth with the right leg. Last breath, maybe lift that right left leg a little bit higher. And go ahead, step back strong into your plank pose and just pause here. If you need to draw your knees down, that's fine. Crown and head lengthens forward, shoulders draw away from ears, heels pull back. And find your breath really activating through your belly Close your mouth, breathe through your nose, hear the sound of your breath. Finding your strength, your power, your prowess, and your ease. Two more breaths. You might feel some shaking and quaking, that's fine. Last breath. Let's come all the way down to the belly. Go ahead and interlace your hands at your low back and lift your chest. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Let your gaze go down, lengthening crown and head forward. Maybe the arms lift up and away from the floor a little bit, or from your body a little bit. Legs lift up off the floor. And breathe into your heart space. And squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two more breaths. Let your eyes look side to side, your head roll a little bit. Last breath here, feel the fullness of the pose. Bring your feet down, hands come by ribs, rise your way up to a low cobra, just easy. Opening through the belly button, through the base of the ribs and the heart, maybe the eyes look up, the throat opens, one more breath. Exhale, press back, child pose. <sighs> Walk your hands back to the back of your mat. Come into your squat. Heels down, head drops. Straighten your legs, lift your hips, bow your head. Walk your hands forward to the front of your mat. Take a breath in and maybe a lion's breath out. Ha. Go ahead, second side. Left leg flows to the sky. Circle at that left angle. And circle it in both directions. <sighs> Lift the left leg higher, higher. Stacking left hip over right, bending knee, rolling open. <sighs> Pull back through your outer right hip. Find the firmness in your hands and your standing leg. Really breathe into the belly and the front of that left thigh hip. Straighten your left leg, big breath in. Exhale, step your left foot forward, drop down onto your right knee, and right hand stays down. Left hand comes to sacrum, dip your hips as you spin toward the left. 
Knees draw in together toward one another. Ah, maybe the left arm flows to the sky if and when you're ready. Maybe you lift that left, that right knee off the ground and, and come on the ball of your right foot. So you choose what feels good. Spinning, rotating through the whole spine. Really lovely action here. One more breath. And let's let it go. Straighten both legs, pull your hips back into the pyramid pose. Hands might be on blocks or down on floor, maybe even on your front leg. Maybe your left toes lift, pulling your hips back, bowing your head deep, shaking out any tension in the head and the brain, let it go. Let the jaw release, one more breath. And let's fly into our standing split. Hands come forward, right leg flows to the sky. Lift that right leg as high as feels right. Maybe you challenge your balance a little bit and walk your hands to your standing left leg. Maybe you take a little handstand hop. Who knows? Find what feels really good for you today. One more breath. Exhale, step back strong, high plank. This time head straight to the Chaturanga, just hovering off the ground. Feel your strength. Inhale, open the heart, some form of back bend for you. Knees could be down or up. One last breath. And exhale, this time press straight back, downward facing dog, big breath in. A full sigh out. Take a moment to really feel into this dog. Spread your palms. Feel the weight on your thumb and index finger, really grounding in there and opening the inner line of the arms. Rolling the inner elbows forward. Drawing the shoulder blades down and away from one another. Lifting those sitting bones super high. Give a little wag to your tail feathers. And pull your chest back towards your thighs as your inner thighs pull away and up. Draw either sides of the navel in opposition to that in and up, upward draft of the inner thighs. Draw your navel forward and in. Last breath. Feel the fullness of this down dog. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and spring step or float to the fronts of your mats. Reach on out, flat back, long lift and lengthen again. Belly is strong and lifting as the inner thighs pull back. Crown of head lengthens forward. Exhale, bow, fold in. We'll just take a couple rounds to flow with that. Inhale, reach long lift and lengthen. Legs are straight if possible. Shoulders down the back. Belly strong, exhale, fold in. Last one, inhale, reach it on out. Exhale, fold out. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Pull back through your outer left hip. Outer left waistline, opening it up. Opening up through the ribs, the spaces between the ribs. And walk it on over to the other side. Hands walk over to the left. Outer right hip pulls back. Find some spaciousness. Some deeper breaths. Last breath. Walk it on back to center. Toe heel your feet together, bend your knees and roll your way gently, gently, gently all the way up to standing. Take a moment to reach out wide with your arms. Pinkies up, thumbs down, drop the shoulders down, lift the heart. Find that beautiful heart open energy through the heart space, through the arms, through the hands and fingers. Drop your fingertips down to the floor and open up the inner wrists of your arms. Again, heart wide open, breath filling. Turn the fingertips down, opening the backs of the wrists. Give your fingers a little gentle wiggle. And then go ahead and churn it out through the arms and the heart and the hands and the fingers. You might get some cricking and cracking. Kind of opening the energy systems back up after filling yourself with holiday meal. Take some nice circles with, the, with those shoulders. And take some nice back strokes with the arms. And clasp the hands behind the back. Drop the hands down toward the earth. Broaden through the chest. Lift your 10 toes, lift your thighs, lift your belly. 
broaden the collarbones, draw the crown of the head high, heels heavy, tailbone heavy, shoulder blades heavy in the back. And release those hands and just stand for a moment in Tadasana. Feel your connection to the earth and sky and all the space around you. Inhale, flow those arms high. Exhale, swan dive forward and down. Maybe knees bend to take you there. Inhale, reach long, laser sharp spine. Exhale, step or jump it, high plank. Chaturanga, low push up, exhale. Inhale your version of a back bend. Maybe it's up dog, maybe it's a low cobra, whatever feels good. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, bend the knee and roll that hip open and take a nice circle out with that right knee. Just churning through the hip joint. Ah, like you're stirring your morning cup of tea. And then go ahead and launch the right leg high to the sky, inhale. And exhale, squeeze and round in knee to nose, draw the belly in strong. Inhale, reach that leg high. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, tricep shoulder. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, spin it across, right to left. Inhale, lift leg high. And exhale, step your right foot forward, warrior one, left foot comes flat. Rise your way on up and just take a moment here to breathe into the shape of the pose, to inhabit the warrior strength in the legs and the heart, to victoriously hold those arms high, inhale. Exhale, hands to namaste at the heart and open wide into warrior two. Give a little shimmy out to those arms, maybe even the legs if you need it. Go ahead, reverse your warrior, big breath in. Exhale, side angle lunge, elbow to thigh. Right arm reaches, left arm rather reaches over ear and feel that one clean line of energy from left fingertips down through outer left heel. Actually a whole outer edge of the foot. If you like, you can reach your right arm as well, paralleling the arms, feeling into the strength this takes. And in your own timing, when you're ready, wrap the left arm around the back for a half bind. And just let that feel really opening for the chest. Roll the inner right knee open toward the right pinky toe and spin your belly away from that to the left and up to the sky. Spinning through belly, spinning through ribs, spinning through heart. One more breath, feel the fullness of the pose, express it. Hands come down, left knee comes down. Left hand stays down once again, let's spin. Take your right hand to your outer right thigh and draw that right knee in as you spin toward the left. And once again, launch the right arm skyward. If it feels good, turn the left toes under, lift the left knee off the ground. Spin, turning in opposition to what we just did. Shoulders draw away from ears, choose your gaze. Feel the fullness of the pose, one more breath. Let's release hands, plant, straighten both legs, pyramid pose, bow. Let that head go loose. Let your spine go long and your toes come alive. Flying into your standing split, left leg close to the sky, head bows heavy, one breath. Exhale, step back strong, high plank. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, down dog, pull it on back, breath in. Maybe a lion's breath out, ha. Huh? Left leg flows to the sky, bend the knee and roll that hip open. And go ahead, take a nice circle with that left knee. Again, drawing some fluidity into the hip joint. <sighs> Bringing some lubrication. And then as you're ready, launch your left leg high to the sky, inhale. And exhale, squeeze in, round in knee to nose. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, tricep shoulder. Hmm. Inhale, reach it on up. Exhale, spin it across left to right. Rise it up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, warrior one, left foot steps, right foot spins. Find your footing and come on up. 
sinking into the lunge, feeling the strength of the back leg and the victorious arms. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to namaste at the heart and we'll swing wide, warrior two. Give a little shimmy out to those arms and maybe those legs. And then go ahead, reverse your warrior, inhale. Tremendous opening for the left side body. Exhale, side angle, elbow to thigh, right arm extends over ear. Feel that long line of energy for the right side. And as you're ready, take a half bind, wrapping the right arm round the back. Turning into it, turning the belly to the right as the left knee opens to the left. Turning the base of the ribs up to the sky to the right. Turning the heart, the eyes, choose a gaze that feels good. One more breath. And let's release, hands come down, right knee comes down. Left hand comes to outer left thigh. Draw that right left knee in toward midline and twist, turn toward the left. Spinning, turning with your breath. Maybe the left arm flows skyward, maybe the right knee comes off the earth. Straightening straight, 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 spinning, spinning. Feeling into the long line of energy through the whole body, through the spine, one last breath. And let's release hands, plant, pull your hips back, bow into the pyramid pose. Mm. Let there be a release here, letting go somehow. And then we take it and we fly, standing split, right leg flows to the sky, head bounce heavy, just one breath, come into its fullness right away. And go ahead, step back strong, high plank. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, child pose, pull your hips back. Lengthen through the arms and spine, bow the head. Let's take a couple of breaths. Walk your hands back to the back of the mat. Find your way into a squat and just curl in. Bow your head, hug around your body. Straighten your legs, lift your hips, bow your head. Just give your head a nice shake, a nod yes, a shake out no. Oh, let your mouth open, your jaw release. Let's take our hands to the head and hair this time and just give a little extra tug. Mm. Maybe a pull of the hair, a massage around the skull, the, the temples, the jaw, the sinuses, the face. Mm. Walking your hands forward, finding your way back to downward facing dog, big breath in, a smooth breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, spring step or float to the front. Reach on out, lift and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold it in, bow. Utkatasana, bend your knees, drop your hips, sweep those arms high and just take a moment to feel the strength of your legs. The openness of the arms, the reaching again for in both directions, earthward and skyward. Feel that combination. Now toe heel your feet together if your legs are not together and squeeze your inner thighs together. And just take a moment to feel the fullness of this moment. Inhale. Hands to the heart, let's spin. Left elbow past right thigh. And we're spinning again. Knees spin to the left, belly turns to the right. Twist and turn. Find your breath. Carefully listen. Gently come on the ball of the left foot. Unweighting that left foot, step it back into a lunge. And just take one breath here in this, this twist turn. Inhale. Exhale, let's swing wide. Warrior two, land it. <clears throat> Inhale, reverse your warrior, straightening your right leg. Opening up that whole right side from the big toe of the right foot right out through the fingertips. 
You might lap, wrap your left arm around your back for a half bind. And then find your way into tree Konasana, triangle pose. Right side stays super long. Right hand might land to a block. Inside or outside the foot. I like to teach it to the outside. Um, but if you tend to be a big backbender like I am, I'm trying it out to the inside today. Lengthening that spine, feeling the energy flowing through from the base of the spine, through the deep low belly, through the base of the ribs, through the heart and the throat, between the brows and out the crown of the head. Flow the left arm high, one breath. And let's rise on up to standing and turn the toes in and the heels out. And just draw your hands to your low back and take a moment in loving contemplation Wiggle your toes, feel your feet on the earth, and then hinge at your hips and fold and bow. And just let your head bow and hands go. Maybe the head comes to the ground, maybe not. We'll just take a few breaths. Energize through the legs, release through the spine. Two more breaths. Walk yourself back around to the front of your mat. Step your way back, downward facing dog. Big breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, spring step or float to the front. Reach long, flat spine, long spine, strong belly. Exhale, fold it in, bow it in. Ulatkatasana, bend your knees, drop your hips. Sweep your arms high and just take a moment to feel that zigzag energy, the thunderbolt pose. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Sink your hips a little deeper and maybe lift your heart even a little higher. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to namaste at the heart and let's spin to the other side. Right elbow crosses to the outside of the left thigh. Hands are at namaste. Hips are dropped deep. Knees are spinning to the right as the belly, the ribs, the heart spin to the left. Breathe into that wonderful twist. So good. Come up on the ball of the right foot and stretch that right leg back. Just one breath here, inhale. Exhale, we'll swing wide, warrior two, find your way. Reverse the warrior and straighten your left leg. Inhale. Hmm. And exhale, hinging, flowing. Trikonasana triangle pose. Hands, left hand may come to block or shin or floor. Right arm flows to the sky. Inner left knee rolls forward as the heart spins to the right. So again, the leg is spinning to the left and the torso spinning to the right. Feel into that power, into that opening. One more breath. <sighs> Let's rise on up. Turn the toes in and the heels out. Just take a moment to feel the floor, to feel the sky, feel the space around you. Interlace your hands at your low back. Broaden your chest, drop the shoulders down your back. The hands are interlaced, or maybe you use a strap or a towel. And lift the heart in ceremony. Exhale, fold and bow. Let the head go, let the arms rise. <sighs> and let the shoulders get a lovely rinse here. Breath as well. Just do what wants to come, allow to come what wants to come. Breathing into it. Taking your time. One or two more breaths. And let's walk the hands around to the front. 
And step our way back to downward facing dog, breath in and breath out. <clears throat> right leg close to the sky, bend the knee and roll that hip open. Oh, let's take a magical flip out of the dog. Feet, right foot comes to the ground. Hips rise to the sky, arm reaches to the sky, maybe overhead. Maybe the right hand comes around to reverse prayer. Ah, oh, just let yourself be where you are, wherever it is. Let's flip on back, lifting that right leg back up to the sky, big breath in. And exhale, step forward, pigeon. Right foot steps to left wrist. Take any padding you need under your pelvis and take a moment to lift the heart on up. Mm. Mm. Open the front of the body, lengthen like a tail feather through the back leg. And then in your own timing, just, just walk it in, bowing in, folding down. You can come onto your fore, forearms or your hands. You could use, I'm using my hands and my third eye around my face just to massage. It's really great. Maybe even a little tug of the hair. A deepening into the pose somehow, some way. Three more breaths. Really pulling into that back leg. Give it some awareness. Really pull back into it as you deepen into the pose. And gently rise on up. We're going to turn, we're going to keep the right knee bent and turn to face the sides of our mats. So the left leg is extended long on the mat, the right knee is bent. And just take a moment to settle yourself and arrive here, feeling again the ground through the legs and the feet and the pelvis, the balance of the pelvic bowl. And the rise of energy through your body from that base, from that foundation. Where is your heart? Take a moment actually to um, bring both hands to the right knee and, and just turn, spin to the right. Maybe the right hand comes back behind you. Just spin a little bit. Left leg is extended. So you're turning your belly to the right and that left leg is reaching to the left. Very similar to a lot of the poses we've been taking in the standing series. Let's take a moment to Feel the fullness of that twist, that turn. Really getting into the spine's mechanics, its ability. Your breath filling spaces and places maybe that need a little extra today. And then gently unwind. Left hand comes to left leg and, and just, just let your left leg kind of rub, your left hand rub your left leg. And that is going to bring you into a magical side bend. So let your left hand reach, reach, reach for the ankle, for the foot, maybe for a strap. And this could be like the perfect spot for you. You could also open your right arm up and twist. And or you could reach your right arm over your ear and reach to or toward that extended left leg. Maybe the foot or the shin or strap. And maybe the left hand walks over to the right. Mm, and just breathe into this amazing, amazing, amazing side bend for the right side body. The heart is spinning up toward the sky. And the head is easy. Maybe it's resting in that right arm's strength. Last breath. Mm. Come on up gently. And right knee stays bent. And left leg is gonna swing forward, maybe at a slight angle, maybe not straight ahead of you, but maybe just off center. And this time the whole body is going to just lie down over that extended left leg into Johnny Shirasasana. So let the spine get long and really again, rooting through the pelvis and rising shooting out from the pelvis, the spine, the torso, the crown of the head, the breath. Mm. 
Last breath. Come on out. Find your way back in your own timing to downward facing dog. Somehow, maybe you go through vinyasa, whatever your body might need. Give it a little shake out. A little move around, a little sigh. Maybe even the tongue sticks out. And as you're ready, left leg flows to the sky. Bend the knee, roll that hip open, and a surprise flip out of the dog. Left foot comes down, left fingertips rise, head falls back. Maybe the left arm takes a half bind behind you. Just do this your way. Maybe you're not flipping out at all. No big deal. Ah, oh, see where you go with it. One more breath. And come on back. Left leg flows up to the sky, three-legged dog. Left foot steps to right wrist and sink your hips and walk your right leg back to lift your heart a little higher. Pad anything that needs padding. Take a moment to really connect in with that right leg and really let it be like a long tail, the heart high. In your own timing, you'll know when it's right to fold in, to bow in, to let in. And experience your pigeon pose. Deepening your breath. Perhaps again, massaging the face or the scalp, the shoulders, the neck, whatever comes. Taking a moment to reconnect in with that right leg, really extending long back behind you. Mm. The last couple of breaths. How could you refine this pose? How could you connect more with it? Last breath in. On an inhale, rise up to seated. Right, left knee stays bent, and right leg is going to extend out to the right. So you're in this wide stance. And just find the balance of your pelvis as best you can. Feel the rise through the whole system. And then turn your attention to the left and spin to the left. Now that right leg is reaching out in opposition as you turn and twist and spin. Maybe the left hand comes back behind you to take it deeper. Heart is majestic, broad. Let yourself really come into the pose with majesty and time and space. Last two breaths. How could you make this pose even more aligned for you? Touch the fullness of the pose right now, wherever it is you are. And then unwind and turn your attention to the right and just let your, your right arm massage that right leg. And that massage is going to bring you into the side bend. So right hand reaches long for the ankle. And this might be it, this might be the place. Left arm might reach for the sky and the diagonal, beautiful opening twist again. And or left arm extends over the ear and reaches for somewhere on that left foot, right foot, right leg. Right hand may walk over to the left. This is your pose, your way. The heart is spinning to the sky. There are so many different things to focus on in this beautiful pose. So your choice, your way. Head is easy. Two more breaths. Rising as you're ready. Left knee stays bent. Right leg comes a little further forward, right toward the front in front of you. Hands, both hands rubbing down to take you into a forward bend. Bowing in. Dhanu Shirsasana, knee kissing pose. Outer left hip dropping down and back, crown of head shooting out from that base, from that pelvis. Landing the pose, landing into the moment. And we'll rise, rise, rise. 
Let's draw the soles of the feet together and let the knees come wide. If you need, if your hips are quite tight, you can always place blocks on the outer hips or blankets or pillows, whatever you got. And just take a moment here, touching into your toes and the foot, the feet with your hands. Let your hands just make contact with the feet, maybe a little massage. Mm. Hands take hold of ankles and lift majestically. You could stay upright and or you could choose to fold in, bow in. You could take it into a lengthening uh, reach, forward fold, or you could round it if that feels more appropriate or more interesting to you or even more unusual. So you choose the way that feels really right in your practice today. Take about three more breaths. Gently coming out of it. Hands come to outer knees and draw those knees in. And give yourself a little hug around your shins and let that bring you into lying down on your back, nice and easy. <sighs> Feet to the floor will come into a bridge pose. So if you are feeling like you want to use a block today and, and place a block under your hips, if you've got one, that is absolutely welcome. If you rather take the classic bridge, um, then, then go for it. Um, feet come to the ground, hips lift to the sky, chest opens and also lifts skyward. Thighs, this is for the thighs, for the front body to open. It's a great counter pose to the forward bends we just took. So take a minute to just really connect in with the front body. The, from the kneecaps all the way to the, um, the base of your throat and see if you can create a sense of connection and openness there. Mm. Through the thighs, through the belly, through the lungs and the ribs and the heart and the shoulders. The neck is soft and easy. One last breath. Let's come on out of it, come on down, hug the knees into the chest, right knee stays hugged in, left leg extends, and let's twist across, right knee crosses over to the left, and right arm extends out to the right, twisting, breathing, kind of um, finalizing your practice. So whatever you need to kind of let go, Maybe you're pressing the release valve and letting things kind of go. Mm. And a final steamy release exhale. Come on back to center and find yourself hugging the knees in, really balancing through the pelvis once again before we twist to the other side. Left knee stays hugged in, right leg extends long on the mat. And twist right knee over and across. And let your left arm extend out in opposition. And just wringing out any last bits of leftovers that need to be released. Emptying yourself out a little bit so that there's more space to come back to you and to come back to a sense of unity and union with all and everything that is. When you feel ready, if there are any last minute movements or poses that your body wishes for, please take them now. We're coming to the end of the practice. We're finding our way to final relaxation pose, probably Shavasana, but also, um, Sit in a seated meditation if that is a preference for you, for Shavasana, but it's, it's really nice to give the body the time and space to really let go, as well as to really come back to Mother Earth, that which is beneath your body, everything that, that is just feel what it feels like to touch what's beneath you.
supporting you. Finding your way to letting go. Letting go of the doing and come into a state of being. Perhaps tapping into those energy centers once again and inviting them to release even further back into the earth. Some of them might have a hard time with that. So just invite even more letting go. Mm. Ah. Perhaps an extra exhale to release even further. Mm, taking a big breath in. And a big breath out. Inhaling full, deep, and slow. And letting it go. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and let your head roll easy side to side. Any movements or stretches or touches or sounds that feel just right for this moment, take them. Ah, if there's anything, anything deeper to just let off some steam to just release, please find that now as you rise your way back up to seated a little more clear, a little bit emptied out. Ah, a little bit returned to you and the way you are expanded beyond yourself. The way your heart is open beyond your own heart. Drawing the hands to the heart just to touch into that experience. And letting your eyes gaze down, imagining your heart being a big world that is beyond your body, beyond your gaze. Bow to yourself and all sentient beings. Namaste. Namaste.